glory, 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 glory to the most high God in Jesus name. He's closing it out. Warriors, I have a word. Mm. And this is no ordinary word. I really, truly don't believe I have delivered a word like this on this channel up until today. My name is Corinne Graham, also known as the Purpose Warrior. I am before you today with a word straight from the throne of the Most High God. What I heard the Father say is he is closing it out. It is time to reset in Jesus name. He's closing it out. Mm. I bless all of you tuning in today or catching this word later on at some point in time. I know when it passes down your feet and you hit play, you will be blessed by this word in Jesus name. To those of you tuning in for the first time today. No, you are not here by chance nor coincidence, but if you showed up today, you showed up today for a purpose and you will not leave this video today empty handed in Jesus name. Oh, Holy Spirit, help me to release this word. I decrease so that you may increase. Prepare the hearts and minds of your people, Lord, that this word that you have deposited into me, this seed that you have opened up to me, Father God, let me now plant it here on earth in the hearts of those who have the ears to hear it and the heart to receive it. Warriors. He's closing it out. This word began to open up to me on Saturday, December 30th, 2023. And I've been quiet now. This is the eighth day I've been quiet and I've been wanting to release this word. But every single day, glory to God, he added on to this word. And not only did he add on to this word, warriors, but he began every day to release a desire to me from my heart. I have been eating on the desires of my heart every day. So there is an activation, a power a performance to this word. Mm. He's closing it out. So in this dream, ooh, y'all gonna have to flow with me. Mm. In this dream that I had Saturday, December 30th, I was in a house and it wasn't my house. It was a one level home and I walked into this house and the house, the lights in the house were dim, but I had been there before because I knew my way around it in this dream and the peace of God was all over me. So I knew I was in the right place at the right time. And in this house, it was full of people. And I believe the people were there fellowshipping. And so there were people all in this house. Everywhere I walked, there was groups. There were a lot of people. And I came into the house. And I walked immediately to the hallway and I got to the end of the hallway and there was a closed door in front of me. Glory to God. Mm. He's closing it out. I knew the door. I recognized the door. I reached out to open the door and in the spirit, I heard stop. So out of obedience, I instantly pause. And as I pause, the father then showed me in real time. He allowed me to hear in real time. He allowed me to see in real time what was being said on the other side of the door. Glory to God. See, I was coming to the house to meet 
some people that I was scheduled to be interacting with. I don't know if we were speaking or what, but I was going there specifically about to open the door to go into this room to meet with ladies that I was supposed to be linking up with. And what the father allowed me to hear and to see when he told me to stop and not open the door right away is one of the ladies that I was there to meet. She specifically said out of her mouth, we have to stop Corinne. She is getting out of hand. And after the father let me hear this, there became, there was a boldness that came over me, a confidence that came over me, a fire, a Holy Spirit fire that came over me. And I opened up the door and I walked into that room and I stood before her and the other lady that she was talking to. And I said out of my mouth, the only doors that will remain closed before me are the doors that Jesus himself has shut. And after I said that, I sang out with everything in me. He's closing it out. And their faces became pale because they knew that only God had shown me the hidden areas in their heart. And I left right out of that room, still full of fire, still full of boldness, still full of confidence. And I walked down the hallway in this dim house and I began to sing out, he's closing it out. And after I would say that, I would speak and the lights in the house started getting brighter. And by the time I got to the front of the house, I began preaching in a way I never had before before and every time I would say something right behind it I would sing the song the father had placed on my heart he's closing it out I saw chains fall I saw deliverance go forth I saw the performance and the power of the most high God in Jesus name and the father led me to a scripture to kick off this word. And then I'm going to read the written word just the way the father had me outline it. So I need you to focus in warriors. This is no ordinary word. This is a word of performance. This is a word of power in Jesus name. He is closing it out. It is time to reset. So the first scripture he gave me comes from Revelations chapter 3. I'm going to start at verse 7 and I'm going to read down to verse 9 to verse 8. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, these things says he who is holy, he who is true, he who has the key of David, he who opens and no one shuts and shuts and no one opens. Glory to God. I know your works. See, I have set before you an open door and no one can shut it for you have a little strength, have kept my word and have not denied my name Mm, in Jesus name listen warriors Mm, he's closing it out so let me get to this word God said he's closing it out it's time to reset in Jesus name To close out means to finish or settle something. To reset means to set again differently. Your faith, your confidence, your obedience, and your belief will activate the power of this word on your behalf. The Father is closing out the season of the unjust and resetting this season for those who have continued forward by faith and humility. Glory to God. Mm. He's closing it out. Ooh, help me, Holy Spirit. You will see every gift inside of you, every talent nestled inside of you come to life and increase in its strength and power. He's closing it out. 
Your words will not be vain, nor will they be empty, but they will be filled with power. He's closing it out. Things will not be hidden from you any longer. The Father will bless your eyes to hear and your he will bless your ears to hear and your eyes to see in Jesus name. He's closing it out. In this season, it will be made clear where those around you stand. Those who don't walk in agreement with you behind closed doors will be exposed and then removed. You will walk in power and authority and it will be undeniable. You will shift entire atmospheres from the words the Father has given you. Hallelujah. He's closing it out. Hearts will be healed. Souls will be delivered. Iniquities turned into testimonies. There will be no dark places in this season for you because you will be the light. Your words will be life. They will activate the faith in others. They will not just be used to confirm the words given by the Most High God, but they will instantly bring activation and performance in Jesus' name. In this season, you will rise from all desolation. The Father is perfecting all things concerning you. His mercy did it. His grace did it. His loving kindness did it. You are his testimony, his living epistle, his kingdom evidence. You are the work of a mighty God's hands in Jesus name. He's closing it out. The Father is lifting your head up in this season and moving forward. The enemy surrounding you failed miserably in their attempts to destroy the purpose placed inside of you by the Most High God. You will thank the Father and bless his holy name for the joy he has filled you with. Your song will be new and you will testify to others of the power and the peace that fell when the most high God closed it out and reset all and I do mean all concerning you in Jesus name amen amen mm. boy yes Woo. he's closing it out and so the scriptures he gave me, and I'm going to read them in the exact order. And I'm also going to link every one of them in the description box below, because it's not about what Koran says. It's about what God says. And he is saying to some warriors today that he is closing it out. And it is time to reset in Jesus name. Daniel 2 verses 21 through 22. And he changed changes the times and the seasons. He removes kings and raises up kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding. He reveals deep and secret things. He knows what is in the darkness and light dwells with him. He's closing it out. Isaiah 44 verse 26, who confirms the word of his servant and performs the counsel of his messengers, who says to Jerusalem, you shall be inhabited to the cities of Judah, you shall be built and I will raise up her waste places. Glory, glory. He's closing it out. Psalms 138 verse 8. The Lord will perfect that which concerns me. 
Your mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Do not forsake the works of your hands. He's closing it out. Psalms 27 verse 6. And now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies all around me. Therefore, I will offer sacrifices of joy in his tabernacle. I will sing. Yes, I will sing praises to the Lord. He's closing it out. Warriors, I need you to hear me and hear me good. The Father was showing me all who have the faith to receive this word will eat the fruits there of it. Glory to God. What I and my king have had to stand for by faith for seven years, he has now released to my hands in Jesus name. And he's not done yet, but he was showing me that even those with my, with faith the size of a mustard seed that will come into agreement with this word. They will see a turnaround. They will see a reset. They will see him close some things out, settle things on their behalf in the next seven days in Jesus name. And when he does it for you, warrior, when he does it for you, you come back to this video and you put your testimony in the comments to give the father all the glory in Jesus name. Listen, we are his glory stories and he is closing it out. He is resetting it. He told us on the first of this year when he had me release that corporate word live. He said a beautiful beginning. He has been faithful to his word in Jesus name. And I'm here to testify. I'm here to testify to the goodness of the most high God. He has settled things on me and my husband's behalf. We have seen him do the impossible on our behalf mm. and he's just getting started and there's something in there for all of those who will have the faith to receive this word in Jesus name a new song a new song warriors he's closing it out I love you, warriors. Until next time, be purposeful and be blessed with the time that you have left. Monitor the fruit of your spirit. Monitor the fruit of those around you. Monitor their spirit fruit as well. Glory to God. If this word has blessed you, if this word has spoken to you, I encourage you to go back and listen to it again to see what revelation, what kingdom jewels, what hidden jewels you may have caught that I did it in this dream and in these scriptures and in this word. Share it with us. Plant the seed of a thumbs up. Plant the seed of an amen. Plant the seed of sharing in this word with someone you know may need to hear it if you are here today for the first time and this word has blessed you plant the seed of subscribing plant the seed of hitting the bell I want you warriors to know that I love each and every one of you I do not take the seeds that you sow into me lightly in Jesus name whether it be seeds of your time seeds of your encouragement seeds of your prayers seeds physical seeds as well I bless you a hundredfold for every single one of them this is a ministry of faith of power of love of hope of belief and we will continue to journey together running this daily race of faith because we are winning today and we are winning every day that we put our hope and our faith and our belief on the line in Jesus name. Warriors, 
I shall speak with you all soon. I have missed you guys so much, but the Father just had me just soaking, resting, reflecting, rejoicing over the things that have been bound up, that have now fallen down here to earth. And I don't take them lightly. I don't take them lightly. So I'm going to end this word with the song he gave me in that dream and that I've been singing every day since. Mm. He's closing it out. In Jesus' name, warriors, I love you and I'll talk to you soon.